Have you ever been in an emergency situation? I surely hope not, but I can tell you that I've had to call 911 on various occasions, and not all personal ones. But when you call 911, you know that these first responders are coming and that they're trained to handle the situation. You know if you've seen a movie that has an extract team that they know exactly what they're doing and how to get through the difficulty that is in front of them in order to rescue the person that is in need of rescuing. Did you know our God is capable of rescuing? He absolutely can. And I love how this passage is put in 2 Peter. It's in 2 Peter chapter 2, starting at verse 6. Very quickly, it says, If he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes and made them an example about what is going to happen to the ungodly, and if he rescued Lot, a righteous man who was distressed by the filthy lives of lawless men, for that righteous man living among them day after day was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. If this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue godly men from trials and to hold the unrighteous for the day of judgment. The passage continues on, but I want to stop there because I don't know what you feel today, but I've heard a lot lately of the question of when is God going to return? When is he going to come back? Look at everything that is happening in our world. But let me remind you of this, that God's patience allows more and more people to come to know who Jesus is. God's patience allows us to have more and more opportunities to share the gospel with those around us. And that we see from the story of God and of Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis and is recapped here in 2 Peter that God knows how to rescue. He knows how to seek out the righteous in a filthy situation and how to rescue them and pull them out even when everything around is going to ash. Living a life according to God's word, using this as the filter of your life, living this life not perfect, we're not called to be perfect. But we're called to be followers of Jesus, and we're called to love those around us. When we live out that life, the Lord sees you. God sees everything that is going on, and He sees the sin. And He is preparing for a day of judgment, but He's also preparing for a day of rescue. So my challenge to you today is align your heart with the Lord. Let Him be the King of your life, and don't miss an opportunity to share His promise, your story, His goodness with those around you, because the Lord's patience allows us more and more opportunity to help more and more people know who Jesus is for more and more names to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life.